All right. Hello. Um, I'm back. Today did not necessarily go as planned. I did not go shopping. I mean, I did, but we only went to Bath and Body Works because it was candle day. And I got two candles that I'll show you later. But, um, yeah, it didn't necessarily go as planned. Um, because it was also... Where are those lights? It's like reflecting. Oh well. Um, it was graduation day. The cat is like being obnoxious. It was graduation day, so traffic was crazy, so I didn't end up going. Um, the plan is to go tomorrow, hopefully in the morning. We will see. Are you good? Yeah? Um, I also need to clean my apartment, which I haven't done, not because it's going to take a super long time, but just because I just haven't done it yet. It'll take me like maybe 15 minutes to like get it all together, but the goal is to do that tomorrow since tomorrow's my only like real day off. Can you not dig your lock into my leg? Um, but anyway, since that didn't happen today, I thought instead I would answer the question of why did I move and why did I get a new job? Um, because I realized I haven't really, I'm trying to like hold this still. Um, I haven't really like talked about it or shared like what happened or anything. So I figured I would answer that question and walk through it with you um so i did get a new job kind of doing the same thing that i was doing um just at a different school i feel like it's like super close is that better i don't know um it's at a new school um, it's about two and a half hours away from where I was, so it was not a crazy move, but kind of crazy, um, and the reason behind me moving and getting a new job was because the last job that I had was not ideal. Um, I loved my job, just not necessarily the people I worked with or for, for the most part. Um, and it was just a very toxic work environment and I didn't feel super comfortable there anymore. Um, and around the end, it was like the end of September is when um, the last like big thing happened that caused me to want to leave. Um, and I did give it a lot of thought before I decided to apply for this job or move forward with anything. Um, but I ultimately decided that it would be in my best interest if I could leave. To leave, this is like shaky. Okay. Um, but I did decide that if I could leave, that I should leave because I know that it's not possible for everyone and at, there was a time in my life where it wasn't possible for me to just like up and leave but I figured while I have the chance I might as well go ahead and do it um since it's just me right now I'm not like married I don't have kids or anything so I just decided that it would be better for me to like make the decision and ultimately do what was going to benefit me in the long run because that just wasn't working for me anymore. Um, so I moved because I got a new job. I got a new job because the last one was just not, not what I wanted or needed in a job or anything like that. So... 
long story short, we ended up moving two and a half hours away um, to a much nicer apartment and a much nicer place to work so far. Um, are you, will you make up your mind and stop digging your claws into me? God. Um, but yeah, it was, there were a lot of things that happened, especially over the summer that just like perpetu perpetuated like all of the things. And I knew that it wasn't going to work out in the long run after everything that happened. So I just made the decision to go ahead and try. Um, I had no idea if it would happen or not. Um, but it worked out and I'm here. So Oh, there's another, there, the other cat's down there. I didn't see her coming. Um, but yeah, this is like, I do not know what's going on with this. Um, but anyway, it was very toxic and it's not a good situation for anyone to be in. And I was just very fortunate to be able to get out when I did. Um... And I feel for all the people that are still stuck in that situation because it's hard. Um, but now I'm here and we just closed the building. So I have to work for the next two weeks, but I have no idea what I'm doing. So we will see. Um, The plan right now is to do the shopping tomorrow and the cleaning and the showing of the apartment. That'll probably be Monday at this point because if I clean it tomorrow and I go shopping tomorrow, then I can just post that tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I'm covering the camera. I can post that tomorrow and then Monday can be me showing you the apartment. So, right. What are you looking at? Hmm. Anyway, yeah, that's that was it. I figured I would share that with you and give you the reasoning behind why I seem to have suddenly moved. It did all happen very fast and I feel like I kind of had a whiplash a little bit in the moment because I wasn't expecting it to all happen as quickly as it did, but I'm so glad that it did because I didn't have to wait that long. Um, I applied on a Monday. They called me on thir Thursday. Yeah, Thursday for a first round interview. My first round interview was Friday, that Friday. Um, and then immediately after my interview, like maybe 20 minutes, they called me about a second interview and that was the Thursday after and then the next day that Friday they called me and offered me the job and then I moved in two weeks later and started so those few weeks felt like very long but looking back it was a very very short period of time so I'm really grateful um And now we're settled, and we're excited to be here. I say we, I don't think they're thrilled about the move, but they're getting, they're getting used to it. But anyway, that was it. I just wanted to share that with you and hope that that clears up some of the questions you may have had. Um, but yeah, tomorrow should be a much better day. We should get some sleep tonight, hopefully, if people will stop making noise. Um, I need my phone. Hold on. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
So we are going to wrap this up, go get some other stuff done, and then we will see you tomorrow.